I invite you to place a pin on this map for the food forest where you live, for your food forest or a food forest that you participate in in your community. Now this video is intended to show you how to do that. So first, you can enter in the name of the place that you're looking for or your address. In this situation, I'm going to put in Sabin Community Food Forest, which is a project by Portland Fruit Tree Project. It's on an urban space in Portland, Oregon. And this food forest was planted on an undeveloped roadway. So there was a road that was supposed to go in here and it never did. And so there's this nice little meandering path on Mason Street, which is actually the path that's just to the south of the food forest. So you see all the plantings right in here. So now that we've located the location on the map, I'm going to click this button to add a marker. And then I'll click right here to put the marker on the Sabin Community Orchard. So then I'll type in Sabin Community Orchard. And in the box, it would be nice to add in a link to the place or something about the place so that people who are looking on this map have a way to connect. So now I've entered in both the organization that sponsors this community orchard as well as the website. So if you were to find this on the map and want to learn more, you could go to this website to learn more about this project. And they also post opportunities for volunteering and getting involved in this project. So if you feel like you don't want people finding you but you want to have a spot on the map, that's fine. You don't have to put in your address or contact information. But there's a wide web of wonderful food forest projects out there and it's a great way to meet new friends and to support enhanced ecological functions on our planet. So I encourage you to put some information about your food forest. Now keep in mind that people might be looking at this map that are not necessarily from your climate. So you might want to put in some of the features of your food forest. Maybe you grow feijoas or you have a lot of mangoes. Um, maybe you specialize in medicinal understory plants or maybe you have a plant nursery. By networking our food forest together, we can create more biological wealth in our communities that help support local food security, local medicine, and the ecological functions that are needed for the stability of our bioregions.